and welcome to our lesson on set notation. Today we're going to use Venn diagrams to identify the union and the intersection of two or more sets. So let's first of all identify our intersection. The intersection is made up of where the two sets overlap and this would be the yellow region. The union is the area within the two circles combined. So this is the full area in green. Okay, so let's move on to completing our Venn diagram. So epsilon means the universal set, and this includes all the positive integers less than 20. So these are the numbers from 1 to 19. And we're going to look at set A first. And set A has all the even numbers. However, you can have an even number that is also a multiple of three. And in that case, we'll put it within the intersection of the two sets. So we have two, four, six, which goes into both, eight, ten, twelve, which also go into, which also goes into set B, fourteen, sixteen, and again, eighteen goes into set B. And then we have a multiple of three which are 3, we have the 6, 9, we have the 12, 15, and we have the 18. Now our numbers that remain in our universal set, which we haven't counted, so these go out of the union, which are 1, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So list the elements of set A. Well, these are the even numbers. List the elements of set B. These are multiples of three. And now list the elements of A in union with B. And if you remember, this is the union, which is, which is the full area within the two circles. So this includes two, four, 6, 8, 10, 12, which are all the even numbers, plus the multiples of 3, which are 3, 9, and 15. And finally, list the elements that are intersecting with A and B, which is where the two overlap, and these elements are 6, 12, and 18. Okay, a question for you to try. List the elements of each set. Set A has all the even numbers between 1 and 12 inclusive. Set B have the square numbers less than 50. Set C have a factor of 20. Do you want to try and complete the Venn diagram by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, for set A, I'm going to put here. For set B, and set C. We'll start off with set A. The even numbers between 1 and 12 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. The square numbers less than 50 are B, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and 49. And the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So we're going to identify the 4 which appears in all. So this would go in our center. 1 goes in set B and set C. 2 goes in set A and set C, as does 10. We'll finish off with set A. We have a 6, an 8, and a 12. Moving on to set B, 9, 16, 25, 36, and 49. And finally with set C, we have a 5 and a 20. Can you try to find the intersection of the following sets? A intersecting with B, A intersecting with C, B intersecting with C, and A in union with C. Do you want to pause the video and resume it when you're ready? 
Okay, so for A intersecting with B, we have this region here. And you can see that as one element of four. A intersecting with C, we have this region here, which is two, four, and ten. So they have the elements that intersect with A and C. B intersecting with C is this region here. So these elements are one and four. And finally, A in union with C, we have these two sets here. And these elements include one, two, four, five, six, eight, twelve, and ten, and twenty. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. And take care.